When Google first came out with its data analytics certificate back in March 2021, it took the data analyst job market by storm. Since it came out, over 1.9 million people have enrolled in this program, hoping to become data analysts. And whenever I would visit these analytics-based forums online, I would always see questions being asked like, will this certificate help me become a data analyst? Or should I take the Google Data Analytics Certificate? And I'm here to tell you that having certificates alone on your resume won't quickly increase your chances of getting a data analyst job. For this video, I'm, I'm going to be referencing Google's Data Analytics Certificate since it's the most popular option out there. So when this certificate first came out around early 2021, the job market for tech-related jobs, even data, was hot. There would be so many data analyst job postings out there that it could be easy to get an interview or maybe even a job offer if you were just starting out. And from my experience, when the certificate came out, a lot of people wanted to become a data analyst, believing it, it would be an easy career path to a six-figure salary and work from home. And it doesn't really help that there are plenty of other influencers with no experience in analytics or even enrolled or completed the program tell you that you can become a data analyst by taking the cert for free which is not necessarily free. If you go to the Coursera website, it tells you directly that Coursera charges you about $49 per month after the initial 7-day free trial period in the US and Canada. The cert can be completed within 6 months under 10 hours per week of study, so the total cost would be around $300. US Although from the support website, Coursera does offer financial aid to help mitigate the cost, but that's more on a per application basis. So the program is technically free, but only for the first 7 days. You can have free in a video title and it will sure to get you clicks. I would say that around late 2020 and early 2021, data analytics started to get saturated with entry level applicants, making competition for these type of roles to be even more difficult. Then the second half of 2022 came and the federal government started to raise interest rates to combat inflation. This meant that companies couldn't really rely on debt financing to raise money as easily as before and the tech industry started to go through all these mass layoffs. Big tech companies like Google, Meta, and Amazon started to lay off tens of thousands of workers, flooding the job market with experienced candidates, some of whom might even be trying to pivot to data analytics themselves. With so many applicants out there in the job market and not enough jobs opened, employers can be as picky as they want when choosing someone to fill in a role. So why would an employer choose you, who has no relevant experience except for completing a cert, over an experienced candidate with years or decades of experience in the industry. You can't just rely on having certificates alone on your resume to get an analytics jobs. One of the most important things you can have is relevant experience um, from your past or current employers. And if you don't have those, then you can try to rely on doing projects to set yourself apart. If the projects are unique and good, then that could increase your chances of getting a data analyst interview and even something to talk about with employers. Being real with you, I took the cert when I was trying to get a data analyst job too, and even put it on my resume to show to employers. But when I applied for jobs and got interviews, the cert was never mentioned at all. I didn't even get my current role of revenue analyst through the certificate alone, but through my prior experience as an accounting clerk and then an internal transfer to that role. Now, completing these certificates won't harm you though, they can serve as a good learning foundation that you can apply to real-world settings. Use the knowledge you've gained while enrolled in that program and apply it to your own portfolio projects. Better yet, you can try contacting various nonprofits to see if there are any data-related projects you can try to volunteer your newly gained skills for. That's another way to get an experience, do volunteer work. Overall, don't just think that having online certs will be a gateway to getting an analytics job. It's possible for sure, but unlikely at the same time. Focus on making your own portfolio projects, network with as many people as possible, and even apply for any office job where you can work with data to get your foot in the door. If you're interested in knowing what the most useful thing you can learn from Google's data analytics certificate is, then you should definitely check out this video I made before. As always, if you guys found this video to be helpful, then please leave a like and a comment down below on what else I should make. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.